River Tree is joyful. River Tree is growing. Community. River Tree is fun. Welcoming. River Tree is safe. River Tree is learning. River Tree is amazing. River Tree is a second family and a second home. River Tree is kind. River Tree is faith. River Tree is fantastic. River Tree is home. River Tree is a beautiful place. It is an atmosphere where children come and they are um, valued and they are loved. And it is our highest desire that they are loved in the way that God loves them and that they are perceived um, in His image. It's the kind of school that being in it uh, aff affirms to you that I'm loved, uh, I'm known, my friends care about me, my teachers care about me, and that's a good place to be. There's a lot of smiles at River Tree. There's a lot of laughter at River Tree. Every single child is known. Early on in the school year, we take photos of students and we pass them around to all the older students and require them to know the names of all the younger students. It's not a place where you are only known by your grade levels teacher, you're known by everyone. It's an intimate approach to education. We, um, we do our classes usually around large elliptical tables uh, and it's a discussion. We are blessed, so blessed to have a small class size. And so as a teacher, I'm able to know each child very deeply. And that allows then for me to help them in building lifelong habits that are thoughtfully chosen for that child, that that child would grow in, in habits of attention or habits of politeness or kindness towards their peers or towards younger students. And because of the class size, um, an atmosphere then can also be established, an atmosphere where learning is a delight and where our relationships with one another are like a family together. And it, and it all has to happen in the context of relationships, that each child has an adult or several adults in their life that know them well and hold them accountable for growing in habits, growing in you know, intellectual um, rigor, and uh, growing in, in knowledge and wisdom. Uh, and you know, that, that happens in a small school. Our kids come home just filled with joy. They're so happy. They love learning. They're never complaining about going to school. And I think that's just a real testament to the nurturing, caring environment and the love of learning that River Tree um, passes on to the students. It's um, amazing to see. What's different about River Tree is that the way we do education, that what matters most is you know, not the capacity of a child. What matters most is nourishing that child. Every child has a hungry mind um, that wants to learn and wants to grow. One of the things that makes it so special is, is the fact that we present them with living ideas and we know that the ideas that we ponder on and that we meditate on, those actually foster who we are, who we become. Those foster the thoughts that we have about ourselves and about the world and about others. Learning is a delight. It's like a bright light in that room and now as a teacher to be able to foster that, that they would engage with these well-chosen texts in such a way that the atmosphere in that classroom is just beautiful and peaceful and delightful. Yeah, it's a great place to be. It's an intimate place um, where ideas are engaged directly at a high level every day in conversation, uh, in discussion, in writing, um, and... In our high school, it's a really comprehensive curriculum. Our students are exposed to um, many of the sciences. There's physics, there's chemistry, there's biology. Um, they have a lab in a full chemistry lab. Just this past week, we had physics students out conducting an experiment, pushing a car on ice and snow, and having hands-on physics in, a, in addition to doing the math and studying the principles. 
So our students get lots of exposure. When you think about a Christian education, you know, when we were looking at schools for our three boys, we really looked at not only just a Bible class in addition to a public school curriculum, and that's what we were seeing in a lot of different Christian schools. And what we really loved about River Tree is that the Bible is weaved into every single um, subject. So civics, history, geography, science, they're weaving the Bible um, and Christian philosophy into all of those subjects and allowing them to see how their faith can be um, lived out. Teachers here and the staff here, we don't take this place lightly or this position that we have lightly. We find ourselves working along, right along with each other and we rely on the Holy Spirit to help us um, reach each child for His glory and with His love. And um, the ideas that are presented here um, I would say that they invigorate and they um, shape our children's hearts um, so that they can live in a world where they are going to be making a difference and impact, but mostly well, they will learn how to love and to love well. That they would leave, the, leave River Tree being lifelong learners, that they would have come to a place where they see themselves as created in the image of God in His world to continue to learn about Him, whether they're at River Tree or wherever the Lord takes them. It's the kind of school that being in it uh, aff affirms to you that I'm loved, uh, I'm known, uh, my friends care about me, my teachers care about me, uh, and that's a good place to be. There's a lot of smiles at River Tree. There's a lot of laughter at River Tree.